Good day. Uh, I'm Professor Steve Olivia, Principal and Vice Chancellor of Robert Gordon University, um, and I'd like to welcome you to our summer graduation 2021. It is, of course, a virtual ceremony, which is unfortunate. We would certainly have preferred it uh, to be physical and in-person, but I'm afraid it's just not possible. Nevertheless, I'm really keen to congratulate you and to welcome you to what is a fantastic day. Um, at ceremonies throughout the world this year, uh, there will be words used such as extraordinary, unprecedented, we become familiar with all of those, and of course it has indeed been that sort of year. In many ways though, uh, university staff and students have proceeded as normal in terms of assessments. You've learned, you've sat your assessments, and you've passed, so well done. However, we continue to be challenged, both as staff, students, and as society. And these challenges have not just been severe, but they've been prolonged, and they're still ongoing, even though there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so, while it's been, uh, in one way, a normal year, it's been difficult, but you have done exceptionally well. So, congratulations and well done. So, I, all of our staff, the people who have supported you, your family, friends, salute you. It's your hard work and your determination that has seen you through this year, to the point where you can proudly say that you've graduated from the Scottish University of the Year. So again, well done. It's not, however, just an occasion to congratulate you, but to thank you. You've given us feedback. You've helped us to improve. And ultimately, what you will have done is to help us to emerge stronger from this as well. You've helped to shape the student experience, to refine it, and improvement. And that's what we're all about, constant improvement. The result, of course, is that your university has one of the highest levels of student satisfaction in Scotland and in the UK, and also an outstanding re reputation for graduate employability. So you've gained knowledge while studying at RGU, but knowledge is provisional. It changes constantly. What I hope won't change is your pursuit of it, of new knowledge, your relentless pursuit of it. We've taught you the skills to question question what you learn, to seek answers, but then to move on to find the next questions as well. It's more than just a practice. It's an attitude. It's a state of mind. And we taught you to adopt it, want you to continue using it. And if you do that, you'll be an incredibly valuable as asset to people that you work with or uh, those around you if you're self-employed. Above all, I'd like to leave you with one message, and that it would be to develop nurture and use what I call the curiosity imperative. So ask questions, answer them, improve whatever you're doing, in whatever you're doing. I would, uh, however, like to spare a thought as you graduate for those who have helped you along the way. Um, why not go a step further than just sparing them a thought, though? Contact them, say thank you to them in whatever means you use. Um, However you wish to do it, show your gratitude. I would urge you to do that. Spread a little bit of courtesy and kindness. Uh, and kindness is important in what has, of course, been an extraordinary year. Before I finish, I'd like to pay sincere and deep tribute to our university chancellor, Sir Ian Wood. This will be his last graduation as the titular head of the institution. Throughout his time as chancellor, Sir Ian has conferred thousands of degrees upon our students as well as many honorary graduates. He has been a pivotal figure in RGU initiatives and projects. His guidance and support over the past 16 years have been invaluable to RGU, and we owe him a sincere debt of gratitude for everything he's done for the university. So this marks the end of a remarkable era, but we very much hope that Sir Ian will remain a close friend of, the, of RGU, of our community of staff, students, and alumni. And we now look forward to the future with Dame Evelyn Glennie as our new Chancellor, but with one eye on the past and the lessons that have been learned with Sir Ian at the helm. So with some light at the end of the tunnel for this year, as you embark on the next chapter in your lives, I would once again like to wish you all the very, very best and congratulations for what you have achieved. Thank you and all the best for the future. On behalf of all students, it's our great honour to congratulate the class of 2021. We'd like to thank the Chancellor, the Principal, Board of Governors, Academic Council, Senior University Management and all members of staff at RGU. 
who have guided us through our most challenging times at university and who have adapted in the most inspiring ways to support and enhance our student experience. To our families and friends, we thank you also. We thank you for your love and support. We just could not have done it without you. Today is indeed a remarkable day because it's a day of reflection, reflection of your journey, the challenges, the hurdles, the successes, and of course, what you have achieved today. So please never underestimate the challenges you have overcome and what you're capable of achieving in the future. It is true that these uncertain times have appeared unexpectedly and tried to derail your achievements, but your resilience, your attitude, and the audacity to have hope in such a trying time is what every one of you will and should be remembered for. So dear class of 2021, it is an absolute honor to congratulate you today. I understand the hurdles that you've had to jump, the sleepless nights, the tireless hours spent on coursework and assessments while surviving a global pandemic. All that doesn't matter now. What matters is that you've made it and you're here. Although we have thanked many people today, it's important that as individuals you take a moment to look back with pride on what you have achieved and to realise that you have reached the end of your journey thanks to your dedication and effort throughout your time at RGU. I want to wish you the best of luck for the future. Please dream big and remember what's meant to be won't pass you by. So believe in yourself, challenge your goals and take a moment to reflect on what you've achieved so far. You'll always have a home here at RGU, so please never be a stranger. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. The graduation of 2021 denotes a truly remarkable achievement for the graduating students of Grace School of Art. This your second year of working remotely, adapting your creative practice and achieving in perhaps the most challenging of working conditions, you've innovated, imagined and achieved a fabulous set of results. Your graduating cohort have experienced significant disruption to your studies, both in stages three and four of your time here at Grays. Socially distanced practice in our studios and workshops has changed our creative community. We've learnt many lessons in working, learning and creating collaboratively in our online world. You will have understood the opportunities of that within the production and dissemination of your practice. The increasing importance of the digital realm for your work is evident. Your deep dive into that world will serve you well in your careers. Many of you will have taken risks in your creative practice this year Torn from your usual ways of developing and making your work, you will have taken decisions to turn in different working directions. The ambiguity of the working environment has meant that you've had to respond creatively and develop your own way, your own path. That takes courage and commitment. Thinking and acting critically and creatively is key. The self-reliance, resilience and ability to continue to learn is vitally important for your creative futures. Circumstances such as COVID are a reminder to us all that life can flip us into crisis mode at any point. In our working lives, we will have many roles, many opportunities and many challenges. It's up to us how we deal with them. You've learned some very valuable lessons. You've had to dig deep for your well-deserved success. And whilst your learning environment was not as you or we imagined, it has, however, created an opportunity to learn differently. It has forced invention through limitation, created innovation through collaboration, and has made us all realise that our digital community is right next door to us, not just in the studio. As we come back into the physical work in working realm, you must remember the positives of connecting to other creatives in the digital realm. This is a career gateway, and you are all well versed in operating in the virtual world. You will remember the heartache and the challenge of this year, but more so, you will know that you have changed. Emerge stronger knowing that you are resilient, are successful, inventive and hugely talented. So believe it, communicate that confidence and be the best that you can be. Chancellor, I present to you the graduates of Grey School of Art and ask that you confer the following awards of the university on them. Chloe Anja Baxter, Master of Arts Communication Design. Jennifer and Berg, Master of Arts Communication Design. Maxim Satsuki Reavers, Master of Arts Communication Design. Susan Cassie, Master of Arts Fine Art. 
Selena Jane Kennedy Dark. Postgraduate Certificate Art and Design. Madison Dora Eyre. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Laura Emma Cameron. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Kirsty Lawrenson Club. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Ellen Marie Cookson. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Ingrid Corson. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Cara Mary Doherty. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Terry Sarah Fubista. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Dominica Herichoff. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Joy Innes. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Paulina Jackak. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Amy Kennedy Johnson. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Iona St. Joseph Logue. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Annabelle Rona McCauley. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Fraser McCready. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Matthew Lawrence McDougall. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Charlotte McGuinness. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Kumi Murren McKenna. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Matilda Jane McKinstry. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Katie Merrick. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Heather Fiona Miller. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Claire Louise Miller. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Abby Sheila Milne. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Sophie Milne. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Rowan Monk. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Maria Wojcita Popescu. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Alana Purvis. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Neymar, Saidi Hying. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Catherine Joseph Scott. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Thomas Alexander Shepard. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Jack Smart. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Alana Page Smith. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Stephanie Stark. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Joanna Louise Swan. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Megan Thors. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Michael Tran. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Lewis Andrew Wibley. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design Honors. Poppy Louise Church. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Graphics Honors. Derek William McEchnie. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Graphics Honors. Georgina Riddle. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Graphics Honors. Lewis Sutherland. 
Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Graphics Honors. Jade Elizabeth Duffield. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Joy Farquhar. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Leanne Daphne Goodall. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Amber Gordon. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Megan Guthrie. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Vivi Amelia Coronan. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. I Ben McMillan. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Taylor Leonie McNeil. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Lewis Murray. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Hannah Nelson. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Caleb Allen Rankin. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Ellie Beth Taylor. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Illustration Honors. Darren Andrew Anderson. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Photography Honors. Elsa Jane Barnett. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Photography Honors. Samantha Jane Crabb. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Photography Honors. Kate Johnson. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Photography Honors. Emil Mbunzama. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Photography Honors. Fiona Elizabeth White. Bachelor of Arts Communication Design, Photography Honors. Daryl Anderson. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Duncan James Bell. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Raphael Benol Coates. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Samantha Bersnies. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Astrid Carolina B.J. Wklund. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Chloe May Boyd. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Emma Burnett. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Gemma Campbell. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Katie Neave Campbell. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Kelsey Elizabeth Campbell. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Julia Candela. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Verity and Church. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Ray Downey. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Hannah Fraser. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Caitlin Christina Friel. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Jordan Rachel Gardner. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Orla Rosemary Gaynerkirk. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Kelsey Lee Grant. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Emma Elizabeth Harrison. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Callum Hunter Hendry. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. Rhiannon Hicks. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honors. 
Paulina Imbiorkiewicz. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Ailey Catriona Innes. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Alexandra Elizabeth Laying. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Sally Jo McClure. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Cameron Margaret McGill. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Joseph Morris. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Emma Lorraine O'Neill. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Victoria Peters. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Veronica Petakov. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Rachel Helen Rutherford. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Claudia Helen Snedon. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Kate Stewart. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Ruth Irene Taylor. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Syra McDonald Watson. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Emma Louise Watt. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Mariana Wilson. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice Honours. Jani 8 Anna Patindol Esporas. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice, Moving Image, Honours. Layla Elizabeth Donald. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice, Photography, Honours. Akila Kamthaswamy. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice, Photography, Honours. Megan Moss. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice, Photography, Honours. Kerry Louise Todd. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice, Sculpture, Honours. Poppy Eve Willocks. Bachelor of Arts Contemporary Art Practice, Sculpture, Honours. Poppy Chisholm White. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours. Leah Hope Christie. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours. Merrin McLeod Duncan. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Erin Edwards Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Cheryl Alexandra Johnston Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Kiara Lamon Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Cameron Norman Lyle Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Georgia Robb Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Mati Salip Ventura Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Rachel Louise Senisak Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Fashion Design Honours Kara Anderson. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Rachel Cook. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Afshan Javid. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Caitlin Martin. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours Hannah Taylor Rasmussen Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours Nicole Morag Adelheid Schneider Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, 
Textile Design Honours. Rachel Elizabeth Baird Tain. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Cher East Louise West. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Kate Wilson. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Emma Yearberry Howell. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textile, Textile Design Honours. Emma Louise Fraser. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Abby Gardner. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Rowan Gregg. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Olivia Moore. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Shanna Marie Penman. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Kirsty Isla Robertson. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Helen Rosario. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design Honours. Holly Evelyn Beatty. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Katie Blevins. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Margaret Brown. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Lindsay Burns. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Alexandra Korn. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Rowan Dahl. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Caitlin Duncan. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Melanie Jane Guatelli. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. John Hamilton. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Lauren Ella Johnston. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Scarlett Neve Keeler. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Rita Kermack. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Elizabeth Catherine Lilly. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Katie McElmory. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Samantha McLachlan. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Nicola Jane McManus. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Mirin Robertson. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Lewis Shaw. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Lachlan Anthony Smith. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Erin Linda Thompson. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. James Tripney. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Lauren Jane Wilson. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Faye Eleanor Woods. Bachelor of Arts Painting Honours. Morgan Deakin. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design Honours. Amama Golsam Karaman. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design Honours. Maria Laidlaw. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design Honours. Olivia Nicole Peters Kiewicz. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design Honours. Scott John Robertson. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design Honours. Meredith Turnbull Moffat. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design, Ceramics and Glass Honours. Joe Allison Northedge. Bachelor of Arts Three Dimensional Design, Ceramics and Glass Honours. Elsa Simpson. 
Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Ceramics and Glass Honors. Kelder May Tyndall. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Ceramics and Glass Honors. Megan Joy Jackson. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Jewelry Honors. Tom Stein Andrews. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Product Design Honors. Charlie Lennon Howie. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Product Design Honors. Ada Jasmine. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Product Design Honors. Rachel Grace McKay. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Product Design Honors. Joanna Laura Robertson. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Product Design Honors. Scott Robertson. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design, Product Design Honors. Kirsty Barkin. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design. Alison Helen Katanach. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design. Shona Sarah DeMori. Bachelor of Arts Fashion and Textiles Design. Jessica Elizabeth Miller. Bachelor of Arts Painting. Jade Elizabeth Smith. Bachelor of Arts Painting. Bianca Jade McDonald. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Katie Victoria McMullen. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Destiny Milne. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Roderick Milne. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Zoe Samantha Neal. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Paul George Nicol. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Susan Jane Orr. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Barbara Ewer Ostroska. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Kaylee Porter. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Tyler Sams. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Kira Jem Thompson. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Rachel Rebecca Torrance. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Shannon Louise Wortley. Bachelor of Arts Photography. Justina Editor Anzulis. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Mikhail Bakanowicz. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Jill Louise Barnett. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. David Piotr Bujok. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Maria Sandra Garka Peinodo. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Mark Anthony Gillies. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Lauren Christine Gray. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Sebastian Damian Janik. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Zoe Meadows. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Javier Montojo Jordan. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Victoria Mary Murray. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Stephanie Alexandra Nicol. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Catherine Laura Pritchard. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Riska Adela Cotrunada. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Stephen John Roger. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. Nathan Andrew Ross. Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography. 
Fabio Scalici, Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography, Katrina and Sutar, Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography, Vito Vitaka, Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography, Jade Wilson, Bachelor of Arts Professional Photography, Maria Olejandra Casta Ida Teo. Bachelor of Arts Three-Dimensional Design Nicole Henderson Diploma of Higher Education Fashion and Textiles Design Natalia Caroline Santis Certificate of Higher Education Communication Design First of all, I need to tell you this will be my last graduation speech as your Chancellor. I have very much enjoyed the role for 17 years and particularly graduating over 25,000 students, which seems an awful lot, and having the opportunity to talk to you all. On a broader front, I have also thoroughly enjoyed my contact and involvement with the University, having worked with five principals over that period of time. The university has changed hugely. We now have one of the finest campuses in Scotland. We've developed to become one of the top one of, of the top one or two new universities in Scotland, and there's been significant positive evolution in the number of courses now in offer, with of course a focus on environment and the new energies. Aberdeen itself has changed substantially. Oil and gas was very dominant when I became Chancellor in 2004 and it has continued to serve the northeast of Scotland well, but is now clearly beginning to show signs of depletion with the new energies on and offshore wind, hydrogen and carbon capture and storage now coming to the fore. I very much enjoyed meeting and spending some time with our honorary graduates, people like Terry Waite, Sir Ronald Fiennes, Dennis Law, Dame Kathleen Granger, Nicola Benedetti, Rachel Corsi, Stuart McBride and Dame Evelyn Glenny, among many others, which we are now proud to have as our honorary graduates. And we've had many VIP visits during my time, among the recent ones, the opening of the Serene Wood Building by Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal in 2015, Prince Harry's visit in 2016 to learn more about street sport, and the President of Mexico's visit in 2017 to learn more about RGU's work with the energy sector. During the 17 years, RGU has received many awards and accolades. A gold rating in the Teaching Excellence Framework, placing us in the top 20% of the best universities in the UK for the quality of our undergraduate teaching and learning. We've been awarded the best modern university in the UK. We've consistently been near the top of the graduate employment record across the UK. We've been at the forefront of introducing graduate apprenticeships and startup Innovation Accelerator, and now we have our own Energy Transition Institute. RGU was involved in the launch of the National Subsea Centre in 2020, and right up to date, RGU was named um, Scottish University of the Year by the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide. I'm also delighted that I'm being succeeded as Chancellor by Dame Evelyn Glenny. I've known her for a long time, She's a great lady, uh, and I know she'll, um, as well as being a, a great world-class percussionist, I know she'll be an extremely able and um, valuable chancellor. So, to your graduation. My warmest congratulations to all of you for successfully graduating in what has been a surreal and exceptionally difficult period, both for you and for the university. Please don't in any way let that detract from your achievements on this proud and exciting Red Letter Day. We're recognising the huge amount of work you've done, you've all done to get your degrees. Many congratulations to you all and to the many proud mums and dads, families and friends out there proudly helping celebrate your success. I've always included in my speech some general advice intended to help you as you chart your career and your life ahead. And I feel this final speech shouldn't be an exception. So firstly, 
In this incredible challenge of change world, we must be constantly proactive to new approaches and ideas. Completely out of the blue, and hopefully coming to an end, is the huge COVID-19 pandemic challenge. I certainly hope the biggest health challenge that your generation will face. Certainly, it's by far the biggest one that my generation has faced. Secondly, we have the transformational impact of digital technology, which is changing so many aspects of our lives. If continuous change and improvement are not at the forefront of your thinking, frankly, you're almost certainly going backwards. Standing still equals complacency, which is a bad destination and a real danger to you not realizing your potential. Thirdly, don't assume it's a fair world out there. Bill Gates speaks of 11 life unfairness rules, which should be compulsory for young people. Just one example, rule number 10, be nice to nerds. Chances are you'll end up working for one. So don't get indignant. Don't lose the place when you come up against the world's injustices, of which there are many. Be pragmatic, plan and work your way through the real world as it is, warts and all. Don't waste your time recriminating on the what-ifs of the past. Concentrate on the what-ifs of the future as you work your way towards realizing your full potential. Fourthly, don't be a spectator. Most of the things that have gone wrong in this world have gone wrong because good people stood by and let them happen. The great explorer, Ernest Shackleton, defined optimism as moral courage. I urge you to be morally courageous. Be a maker, be a doer, be a creator, or whatever. Don't just sit back and criticize, because that's far too easily, and frankly, should be way beneath you. As from today, you are no longer a spectator. You have graduated into the real world and are now endorsed and engaged as a player. There's a very wise saying, inside many an old person is a young person asking what happened? What have I done with my life? Don't be that person. Fifthly, don't be afraid to make mistakes and don't fear failure. I've lost count of the number of mistakes I've made in my business career. The key thing is to recognize them quickly and rectify them. Don't ever hide from your mistakes. You'll just compound them. Some failure in life is inevitable unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Sixthly, think global. Some of the biggest problems we are currently facing in our country, the economic financial challenges, COVID-19, the availability of energy, climate change, and the threat of terrorism, these are all global and need global solutions. And Scotland, or whatever country you come from, is not the centre of the world. Our world has no centre. It's a matrix of countries, religions, ethnic groups, and cultures. Seventhly, although global business is highly competitive, you absolutely don't need to compromise on your principles and ethics. Ethical business practice and corporate social responsibility is a key part of Robert Gordon University. Don't ever in business sacrifice your self-respect or your integrity. Penultimately, when you've chosen, go for it. Don't ever underestimate your own potential. It's incredible what the human spirit can do if you really believe in yourself and set your sights high. Right now you're focused on getting a good job and taking the next step in your life. But each of you should have a dream based on ambitious goals, well in excess of your reasonable expectations. Really challenge your aspiration and don't let cannot dominate your vocabulary. I was Wood Group's first employee in the oil and gas industry in 1970. I set off with energy and zeal, but frankly not at all sure where I was going or how I might get there. When I retired from Wood Group now nine years ago, it employed 43,000 people working in 50 countries around the world. You can climb mountains and cross wide seas. And finally, in this very troubled world, be responsible, caring and tolerant. Our planet and its different inhabitants whether God or science made, is truly an incredible miracle. If you have any doubt, just watch a David Attenborough Blue Planet series or the Brian Cox Planet programs. The truth is, we are unbelievably privileged to have time here. What is quite unforgivable 
is that our lack of tolerance of race and creed and our inability to balance wealth and well-being are abusing that privilege and possibly irretrievably damaging our ecosystem and our children's future. Different religions, races and cultures must be prepared to live together and support each other in a generally more caring and tolerant society. And lastly, I'm going to tell you something you may not want to hear. In the context of the global world we live in, you are very privileged. Your intelligence, your talents, your capacity for hard work, the excellent education you've earned and received gives you unique status and unique responsibilities. To whom much is given, much is expected. And the way you live your lives, the values you adopt, the example you set, all will have an impact way beyond your borders. With privilege comes responsibility, and I urge you to discharge it altruistically and caringly. If you choose to use your status and influence to raise your voice on behalf of those who don't have a voice, if you choose to identify not only with the powerful, but also with the powerless, if you retain the ability to imagine yourself into the lives of those who don't have, who don't have your advantages, then you could achieve great things with the power to change our world for the better. Once again, we're really sorry you've been unable to enjoy a normal graduation experience, but don't underestimate the importance of this day. This is your day, a very important day in your lives, and the opportunity is now open to you. Please enjoy a well-earned celebration with your family and friends, and let my final words as Chancellor be to tell you, you are the future, and I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you very much.